what is going on everybody back in the shop again and uh again with another uh kemimoto video uh they uh asked if there was anything else i wanted or liked and needed and uh i said yeah i want to get some door bags for my dad and they said that machine's uh not eligible but mine was so got some door bags we're gonna throw them in the uh turbo R. So first things first, you gotta take this outer door panel off. I already put that one on just to uh, just to get my P's and Q's together. That way I wasn't uh, rattling through a video without knowing what I was talking about. There are pretty good instructions that come with it with pictures, but you just take all these uh, bolts that hold this outer skin on off of this here door panel and uh, then you pop the, well, I'll show you when I get there, but you pop the bags through these holes Works out pretty good. Okay, panel should just come right off, and it does. Now, take the new bags, or the, the bags, not the new bags, they're new to me, and you thread them through the holes in the door, like so. The only one that's even a challenge is this uh, lower one. Fits pretty snug. I imagine if you took the uh, insulation out of it because it's a knee pad or a pocket, I'm probably gonna leave it as a knee pad. But if you took that, the foam out of it, it would probably slide right in there, no problem. But I find that it holds it pretty good if you leave the foam in. So it's a bit of a stretch with these things. And what I found is if you uh, just take your bolt Stick it through and pull the the bag up. Stick it through. Works pretty good to hold it. So that's what I'm gonna do there. And I just dropped a screw. Don't you hate phone calls that are potential spam? Five times a day. At least.
So just to expand upon what I was saying about sticking the uh, screws the, through the hole, if you see what I did here, the screw, there's not, well, there's nothing to hold it but the fabric. The fabric is tight enough that it's just going to kind of hold the, uh, the screw in place and it'll hold the, uh, the door bags up in place. So now, pretty much good to go. Just have to, uh, just got to put the door skin back on. The trick is getting the first couple started. One eternity later. Okay, so I'm not going to lie and say that this was a cakewalk, easy, easy installation, but I'm also not going to say it was a terrible, difficult one. Uh, the biggest issue I'm running into is uh, more with Polaris than with Kemimoto, and in that they use the uh, the cheapest the cheapest uh, hardware they can find. The clips break, and they don't. Uh, they don't hook good um and to their point they're using bolts that are exactly the right size so when you put a piece of material in between the door panel and the bolt all of a sudden that bolt that just barely caught now it doesn't want to catch um plus that material push this door panel out a little bit so i have to shim out the uh the fender a little bit here otherwise the door catches so other than that it's the job is essentially complete. It worked well. It's just it's like I say it's not a five minute on the trail job. You know you need a few tools. You could do it with hand tools, but but uh, definitely having a little bit of knowledge of uh, shimming and lining up parts is going to be helpful because this is uh, like I say it's more of the Polaris's cheap hardware, you know, than the uh, Kemimoto's bags, but. So I'm just going to shim out this fender and then we're going to uh, try them out a little bit. Okay. Uh, supposedly these things are waterproof. So I'm going to take the instructions. If I can get the zipper down. The cord's caught. A little... There we go. I'm going to take the instructions, put them in here, and zip it up, and we're going to hit it with a pressure washer. Now, I'll probably do some uh, editing here for sound because this pressure washer is pretty loud when it kicks on. So. Well, we can turn it off too. When you get done spraying it. So, here we go. 
I'm fairly certain that that is more water than, you know, if we're talking rain, <laughs> that's more than will ever hit your uh, your bags. So, sorry about the extreme close up there. So, let's open her up and see if they're dry. Only water on that is what I just got on it when I took it out. Completely dry. So, I guess they're right. They are quite waterproof because that was pretty... Uh, Pretty intense spraying with the uh, pressure washer there. So, all in all, initial reaction, I'm gonna give them about a, a seven out of 10. And that's just because of the little bit of difficulty I had in installing them. And like I say, I don't necessarily blame Kamimoto on that. I blame Polaris's cheap hardware that uh, didn't, didn't uh, like to cooperate. So we're gonna try them out this weekend on the trail and we'll see what we think. All right, guys, I didn't, uh, my batteries died in my GoPro when I went out for a ride. Um, so I didn't get any on the trail riding, but I can give you some now after I have rode with it reviews. And uh, these bags are, are awesome. Um, this knee pad, uh, point over there, the knee pad there goes right against the, uh, for me, right against the side of my leg. Works great. Love it. Um, my wife was putting stuff in the bag, as you can see, it's unzipped and everything stayed dry and protected the whole time really 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 like the bags so uh definitely highly recommend these things they uh they just worked great so i'm gonna head back in and finish putting this video together and just say thanks kemimoto and uh hope you guys enjoyed watching the video please remember to like comment share and subscribe uh, stay safe we'll see you on the trails